So welcome to another episode of Oasis Live. Remember, Oasis Live is our, I don't want to call it weekly because we don't do it every week, but um, uh, occasionally <laughs> we'll do it. And typically when we do it, we'll do it at 7.30 p.m., which we found to be a pretty good time. Uh, everybody has eaten, homework's done, but it's not mm -hmm. quite bedtime yet. So mm -hmm. 7.30, if we do any of these live events, um, during the week, it'll be at 7.30, okay? So make sure you uh, stay on the lookout for that. Um, so today, uh, we're going to do our top 10 STEM toy, uh, STEM toys for Christmas, okay? 2019 edition, all right? So we'll go through, I'll show you, I have a little presentation, so I'll show you the presentation, we'll go over it, and then I'll, I have a few of the items here. Um, I'll break it out, and I'll kind of let you see what it looks like in a physical space, and then um, if you have any questions, just make sure. And now I don't know the pricing for all of these. I'd have some general ideas for some of them, but not all of them. But if you have a question about that, just ask it and then I will, I'll try to answer it as best I can. All right. So we're going to jump right into it because we don't have much time. Uh, so let's see. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see that. Um, okay. Hey, thank you, technical advisor. Zora said the screen was coming up green or is black. The screen um, is black. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you should. Let me try another option here. Uh, go back and, and look, Zora. Mm. All right, got it. Zora, our technical assistant says yes. Okay, so you should be able to see that then. So here's number 10. Okay, we'll hop right back into it. So number 10 is a company called Kano. So they have kits for coding and computer science. So their specialty is really about putting computers together and then learning how to code in very fun ways. So as you can see there uh, on some of the images, uh, we have some, they have some Star Wars and then they have Frozen. And so you're using your hands. So there's some physical coding, some physical programming going on here, um, but they're also uh, allowing you to control and program uh, using some of your favorite characters and stories. And so if you see here in the lower right, you also have the Harry Potter wand. So that's something if you're into Harry Potter, you can uh, you can grab that wand. And they were having some Black Friday sales. So if, you, if, you, if you're fast enough, you may be able to catch something for this week. Uh, you, you can program the wand and do some magic based on certain gestures. Um, and then on the far left here, you have the Kano computer kit where you can put the computer together and then actually use it to do some programming and know and understand how the hardware part works, okay? So that's number 10. And again, we won't dwell on these too much because I want to make sure I get through everything. Is that one over $100? Which one? The Kano? Or no, or no. Any of it? no uh, the only one that's over 100 is the Kano kit here, the computer kit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's number 10. So number nine is another kit. So these kits are pretty cool. I like them because um they allow you to buy uh several different versions of what you may want to do right so if you look at the osmo kits here uh now osmo has they have like uh, you buy one set set up and then you can buy the essentially like games that you can use to to use uh the osmo with okay and so you see here you can you can buy the starter kits at the top here this gen little genius kit mm -hmm. and different age groups will have different um games that go with them and then you'll see, I'm going to show you here kind of how you set that up, all right? So check out the Osmo kits. They're pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go back to, uh, let's see. So I'm, there we go. All right, can you see me now? All right, so now we have the Osmo kit. So usually you need some kind of a tablet like this. And then you get a base, and then you have a red uh, mirror essentially up here that you put on top, which I don't have. So you put that in the base, you put the red mirror here. So what that does is it actually allows your camera to view this space here in front of the iPad, okay, or tablet or whatever you have. And then based on what this camera sees, it then allows you to interact with what's on the screen, okay? So for instance, we have, we have the business kit where you can learn business fundamentals um, using the idea of a pizza shop. So that's pretty cool. You get some money in there. So you can start to do some math with that, with that as well. So that's great. And then we also have the coding kit here where you get some coding blocks uh, where you're showing or controlling characters on the screen. OK, 
okay? And you put all these pieces here in the front, and the camera reads it and sees what, you, what you're doing, and it's able to display something on the screen that allows you to essentially physically interact with what's going on on the screen. So uh, those are the Kano kits. Like I said, pretty cool. I like those. If you're really into the iPad, that's something that uh, will allow you to still use the iPad, but have some fun in the physical space. Okay. So uh, back to the, uh, the presentation here. All right. So that's number nine, the Kano Kiss. And number eight are the 3D pins. Okay. So these, the reason I like the 3D pins, no. the reason I like the 3D pins is because they allow you to quickly go from an idea to an actual physical product in uh, really a matter of minutes if you have them and if you're, uh, if you know how to work them. Okay. So, and these are a precursor to using a 3D printer. Okay. So it's like using a regular pen to write, like if you can imagine writing with a pen. And then a printer that prints out paper, right? Same thing with the 3D pens, right? The 3D pen allows you to quickly create something as if you're writing, um, like you can see here in the background, the Eiffel Tower here. Uh, and then the 3D printer allows you to make more accurate um, uh, prototypes, okay? And a prototype is what they call a first version of something or your proof of concept, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go back now to the screen again. Um, so we're back and and I have a couple different types of 3D pens here. This one here is more of for an adult or somebody who's really uh, kind of stepped their game up with 3D pens. Uh, it uses a stick filament. So this filament is is the plastic. So the 3D pen works by taking in hard plastic, melting it, heating it down and then squeezing it through a little nozzle here. And then as that comes out it's uh it's not as hard and it allows you to make shapes with it but it dries very quickly and then it hardens back up okay and it stays in that shape so more advanced one and then a more simple one here these are about 17 dollars. you can get them on amazon it comes with some filament it uses like the string filament but um but these are pretty good as well these we really sit we send these out with our coaches when they go out into the community to do the stem uh, so these two different types of uh 3d pens um so let's see back uh and those work kind of like a hot hot glue gun exactly so you would always want to tell your child not to touch the tip uh so number seven is kiwico now kiwico is um a subscription box company okay so they do stem toys via subscription and so uh, you would essentially subscribe they have different price ranges but they usually go from 25 to to $35 a month, depending on the age group. And then you'll get these in the mail. Every month you'll get a new kit. And they, they're very hands-on, which is why I like them. And they have, they, they span a wide uh, range of ages, which is also good. So you can start now and probably stay subscribed until you're, uh, you're, you're an adult, if you wish. Um, but they come that different. Uh, these kits are pretty good. And these are actually the kits that we use as giveaways because they're, they're reasonably priced and they and they really focus on the hands-on piece, which is something we think is very important for young learners. And so that's the KiwiCo subscription box. Are we it, showing? No, we won't show that one. Oh. Well, I'll show it to you at the end, at the end. Okay. when we do the giveaway. Okay. <laughs> so um, number six is the Sphero Mini Activity Set. Okay. Now these you've probably seen these. They have the bigger ones that are like the size of pool balls, like if you play, ever played the game pool. And then we have the smaller ones as well. And these are these are the smaller ones. And so the reason I like this kit is because it comes with a whole bunch of different obstacles that you can put together. And then you can use to, to like create a maze or different uh, uh, things like that, uh, which is pretty fun. And then so you can, two things you can do with this. You can drive it and then you can also program it. And that's why I like this. So you can really step up uh, into programming if that's something you don't wanna do initially but you can still learn to drive. And if you can see here, they, you can do some things like bowling. You know, you mm -hmm. see the little bowling pins here and then the little cones. So this is a pretty fun activity set. And this runs about, I think right now, about $65. So not too bad, yeah. And, and again, this robot, it actually works. Let's take a look at, um, we have one here. And I'll so go over. you wanna emphasize them getting the 
kit and not just yes, the sphero. Yeah, get the kit. So you so make sure you have you buy the kit. If you're buying just the sphero, then this is about fifty dollars, but it doesn't come with all the right. other things that go along with it. But you'll still be able to program it if you want to. So now the, the sphero mini works like a hamster in a in a ball, right? Have you ever seen a hamster or a little animal in a ball, right? A clear ball, they put it in there. And it has little essentially these little motors on here, right? And these motors and wheels rub up against the inside of the ball and it allows it to move around. Okay, so it's actually rolling around and just like you would see a hamster roll around in a hamster ball. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, and this one is uh this one has the opaque shell or the shell that you can't see through, but the Sphero Mini Activity Kit has the clear shell, so you'll actually be able to see the robot in there as it moves around. So, and so that's the, the Sphero Mini Activity Kit. Uh, let's quickly. That's number six. So number five are the Gmu Robot Kids. Okay. Now I like these kids because they have a wide variety of different kinds of kits, um, like themed kits. And then they're pretty reasonably priced for what you get. So you can get them from... Right now, about $35 all the way up to, you know, 150 bucks if you want it. The larger ones and more expensive ones usually have more motors, so you can do more things, create more complex robots. But here you can see kind of the different examples that they have, the unicorn, uh, just the Gmu main robot here in the middle, Astro bot, and some other, uh, like a crane bot and all of that, okay? So these are pretty cool. I like them. Like I said, you get a wide variety of things, and they're light. They're similar to Lego Technic kits in, some, in a way. So you have your base plates and then you have connectors that put the plates together. And so it allows you to do some custom stuff as well if you're into that. So you don't have to just build the regular robot. How much is the Gmu and then like how much with the unicorn? Well, the unicorn I think is like $65. Oh, and the, the okay. main Gmu is like 50 bucks. Yeah. You can okay. get it from that. I like yeah. that unicorn. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you have a young, a young girl who's in the STEM and then the unicorns, which are... Our youngest daughter is, then that's something that they may be interested in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I have, do you want to show them? One? Yeah. I have it here. Um, this one. And they can kind of see us in that small oh, yeah. there too, as well. So, here's a Gmu robot here. Uh, again, it has four motors. It has a control unit. So, this is like the brains of the robot here. Okay. It has the eyes on it, but that's really just for decorations. And you can see the wires here that go to the motors. There's an on off switch here. And you can really and you can make it dance and do do other things like that. Okay, so it's a pretty cool robot. Like I said, these are quick ways, and you can program these as well. Mm -hmm. So these are you know most of the things robotic kits that you get today will have some programming capability. Um, it's a good way to get into programming if you ever want to get into computer programming is by starting to program robots first. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, because you know especially for young learners, it's easier because. Is something physical that they can touch. So uh, next, let's see. So next is Number four. Legos. Okay, so this is like an old go-to. This right here, I think, is one of the most perfect building toys. Okay, mm -hmm. so I was a big Lego fan growing up. Um, nowadays, they have more of the themed kits than they used to when I was young. When we were younger, they just had Legos as. I mean, they had some themed kits, but you know, we would use them. And create custom custom uh, creations, uh, and you can still do that now. But usually, you'll have pieces that are built specifically for um, certain sets. Uh, but you know, using your imagination, you can you can make some wonderful things. So they have the the friends Lego friends sets, which are really geared toward young ladies. Um, then you got the, the some of these are like adults, uh, Voltron and, and Bugatti. Bugatti, and I'll show you. I, I have both of these actually, so I'll show you quickly in the Star Wars set here. But you can get themed sets uh, really uh, on all of them. <laughs> okay. Was it your computer or? No, it was my kid. I turned it back on when I found out. Okay, we'll get back to it. So, all right. So, so let, let's. So we. I'll show you the Voltron here, and mind you. Um, and, and don't think less of me, but these are actually mine. So I put these together and, I, and the girls did help me. But growing up, I was a big Voltron fan. So when this came out and these line, the lines come apart 
and so you can make the five lines and um but actually voltron was one of the series that really got me in wanting to be an engineer because i wanted to build robots when i grew up and so uh, when this came out as a lego set i was like i gotta have it and so and this is heaven <laughs> heaven to him so yeah to, to, to put this together over you know a week or whatever you know a few minutes here and there is uh it was like you know for me it was it was uh relaxing so that's the voltron and then, and then here's he right here this one here this. this was the bugatti so this so, is a, actually a technic set so it has the, the the driver wheel in here it has the engine in the back too with all the pistons that doesn't come up yet but uh you you can see so this one is very very complex uh it has a, the, the motor in here um, and it actually come with, comes with a little Bir Birkin bag, I believe. Oh, I, I yeah. was like, what is that? If you got the Bugatti, you got to have the Birkin bag. Ladies, I, guess. <laughs> I don't have one. Probably never will. Yeah, but, but this is. one is, like I said, it's pretty cool, very detailed, oh and God. very large. Okay, it took me a long time to put this together. But again, very it was worth it for me because uh, just to be able to go from zero and have something like this when you're done was, uh, for me, pretty fun. So, like I said, you can never go wrong with Legos. Uh, they're very hands-on and uh, in so much variety in terms of what in terms of what you can do in different things. <laughs> yeah, sit it over here. Wants to be <laughs> okay. So uh, just move oh. that out. There, oh. so. Yeah. All right, I got it. Okay. So um, next, that's still too much in the way. No, I think it's fine. Okay. Okay, so that was number four. Then we're down to number three. So I just actually discovered these about a week and a half, two weeks ago. It's uh, These are called male science kits. So if you're really into like chemistry and science, like physics, things like that, just like pure science, uh, I would recommend these. Okay, so these are typically for older youth as well. So because um, they're doing some experiments that um, may need some adult supervision. But uh, these are a good way. Again, it's a subscription box as well, but you actually get two to three different experiments every month. So that's a good thing about this one. Um, and they teach you the principles of chemistry and physics and different uh, sciences. OK, so uh, I would again, I would recommend this from what I've seen and have gotten some good reviews. Mm -hmm. And so that's something you may want to check out the male science kits. Um, again, I don't know what MEL stands for, but um something that you, if you visit their website and i'll have uh links to some of these websites as well when i post on our website so you'll be able to follow that okay and i don't have an example of that once one. a month they get these once kits. a month okay. it sends you a kit or a box but that box has several different um experiments in it oh, okay? okay so that's the good thing about that one so that's number three and then number two if you tuned in last week or the week before the last show, yeah. we did the Go Cube, okay? So the Go Cube is like the, the Rubik's Cube for the 21st century. And so the reason I like this, well, I like the, the Rubik's Cube. We used to teach a class uh, where we taught kids how to solve the Rubik's Cube, right? And that's something I thought was very important because it, uh, it develops what they call your spatial intelligence. So your ability to kind of imagine and see things in three dimensions. Uh, Rubik's Cube is perfect for that. It fits in your pocket so you can take it anywhere. Whenever, instead of breaking out the phone, you can break out the Rubik's Cube. Now, this one is a connected cube, meaning that it's, it connects via Bluetooth to your phone. Um, and then it has sensors in it to where you can actually uh, tell the orientation of the cube and where the certain pieces are, right? And so when you have all those things together with technology, now it can actually show you or walk you through solving the cube okay which is another cool function mm -hmm. but i would actually recommend that you learn to solve it but this is a good way to get started now this cube is actually about 80 dollars though so um you know this may be more of a grown-up gift or, or if your child is really in a cubing uh this would be uh, definitely a good gift for them it lights up as well which makes it cool um and again you can download an app and there are all sorts of games on there. I think they have like a, a worldwide network as well. You can you can battle each other. I think that's kind of what you see over here in the middle. But this mm. is, uh, is a person and there's somebody in another part of the world that you could be uh, battling against. Mm. Okay, so that's, like I said, those are that's where you take Rubik's Cubes into the 21st century and into our connected world, okay? And I, and I, and I think you can kind of see that. I won't go 
to uh because uh it's pretty small but you could and they have the picture in picture there so here's the rubik's cube here yeah hold on drum roll for number one okay <laughs> yeah drum roll please for the number one stem toy um for 2019 for christmas and again this is <laughs> i debated whether or not i should make this the number one toy because it does have a hefty price tag but I just was like this. If you like, I said this worth is worth the investment. Well, if your kid is really yeah, if you if like you see kid, yep. your kid's gonna use. And it. I just think that this robot is like next level on so many, uh, so many ways. So the number one, uh, I guess I kind of gave it away the robot, but is the uh, the DJI Robo Master. Okay, so if, if you've ever um, if you've ever seen the the white uh, drone, the Phantom uh, drone, it's the same company that. Uh, makes that makes this so this is a purely educational robot okay uh what i like about this and and you can see kind of some of the promotional images that they have of it this is number one here and let me come back to the large screen here so you can see the detail okay so here's the robo master okay so the thing that i like about this it has the mechanism wheels so that means that it moves very coolly so it, it doesn't have to turn to move left or right it can just slide left to right. This transformational, translational movement, they call it. And it has these mechanism wheels, which has the little rollers on them. And that's what allows for it to do all of that movement um, without actually turning uh, the wheels. So it just spins the wheels, okay? So that's cool about it. Very high-end robot. It has a camera on the front here, as you can see. So when you're using an iPad or your phone, it actually, uh, projects an image there so you can just drive it using what they call first person view okay or fpv so it uses that camera and it has a cannon here which shoots gel beads like so like you've ever seen the little orby beads uh it shoots those but then it also has like a laser cannon so you can play laser tag with another robot as well so there's it's equipped with leds light emitting dials which can change different colors um and then this also has a facial recognition software that works with the camera so it has a little bit of artificial intelligence built in there it can follow you around <laughs> see these are some of the more advanced features you can also program it you can program it using the block language that most kids are familiar with or if you want to use like a language like python you can do that as well mm -hmm. so it's it's, a, it's really a, a robot that can span so many different age groups on so many levels and when you buy this and uh, so the price on this is actually about $500. So like I said, it's a pretty hefty price tag. It's it's meant to be an educational robot. So, I mean, there's so many things that you can do with it, though. I would definitely recommend it if if it's in your budget. Um, but uh, like I said, a very good, uh, very good uh, robot, very advanced. Uh, you can program it. You can have competitions, a whole bunch of other things you can do. And so, I would, like I said, I would definitely recommend this. Um, for anybody who's really trying to take take it to the next level, <laughs> if you will, yeah. So, so that's it. That's our number one robot, the DJI number one STEM toy for 2019, the DJI RoboMaster S1. Do uh, you have something to say about that? No, no. I just learned a lot because again, he's always tinkering around <laughs> with stuff. So I don't know half of what he's doing and what everything does. All these different robots that we have so yeah so those are the robots we actually take out when we go do our mm -hmm. tech and touches out in uh the libraries or in schools mm -hmm. and so forth so uh so that's the number one so the poll that you all see here mm -hmm. go ahead and answer um that poll question now and then we'll tell you um what everybody top yeah so go in if you see it says it at says the bottom at the of your bottom screen polls, polls. click that um, and you, it'll say, which STEM toy do you like the most? So go ahead and... Uh, so we can see. Uh, see. Um, hopefully it's not yep. scattered. But, I see some people voting. Um, which one do you like the, the most? Okay. All right. Has everybody yeah. voted? Can you see? You can, I think you can see in real time who voted for what. Oh, All you right. can? Yep. Oh, so okay. It's like, so I, I think, think there's one more person one that needs more person to vote. Needs to let's go quickly yes i don't know yeah i don't know who the other person okay, okay. so go ahead 
No, go ahead. According to this, uh, two people chose Legos, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, you can never go wrong with Legos. Legos. That's kind of why I had it right there in the middle almost, because uh, uh, it's like I said, they, they have so many different things. Um, and then Kano Kits and then the male chemistry subscription. Okay, yeah. so pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, so, Go Cube. Somebody, oh, somebody the go, voted, the last the, person the, voted the, for the, the Go, go Cube. Cube. Yeah, so. I think that's pretty cool too. Oh, so. no, they, they changed <laughs> it very changed quickly. It, yeah. So maybe we'll get, uh, oh, they, oh, they, they went back. back to the Go Cube. <laughs> So, um, but right, cool. most votes was Legos. But, you so. know, pretty close. So, uh -huh. okay. So, Aaron <laughs> said Lexington and Hartley love uh, Legos. Legos. Yep. Okay, cool. And Same King thing. wants the Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine, man. That's mine. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, just a couple announcements. Um, we're okay, right? Yeah. Oh. So, so to wrap yeah. it up here, yeah. so a couple yeah. announcements. Uh, so next week on Tuesday, we're actually going to do what we call Steam Spotlight. So this is where we bring somebody on, and this person is actually in Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. There's a woman named Kai Frazier, mm -hmm. an African-American woman, entrepreneur, educator, historian. She actually has a startup where she creates virtual reality experiences uh, with the goal of creating like these VR field trips, okay? so. She's actually, uh, she's out in Oakland at a startup company. Uh, it's, got, it's called Cure, Curated, Curated by Kai. Mm -hmm. And she makes these VR experiences. So, yeah, she used to be a teacher and a historian. So, so definitely tune in uh, next week. We'll have her on and we're going to interview her and kind of see what her path was to becoming who she is today. Okay. So that, that'll be something pretty interesting. Go ahead. On, on Tuesday. And then, um, we'll also be giving away two VR headsets and the headsets, will they include her? Um, no, I think there's experience? an app you have okay, to go so to. Okay, so you can or, download yeah. the app, but we'll be giving away two VR headsets um, that day. Yep, they're, they're headsets that she sells to yeah. use uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, VR experience. Okay. okay. So. And then your kids will have opportunities to ask her questions as well. And then the last thing, if you all haven't seen on social media or in your emails, uh, Wakanda Tech Academy, we will be launching that in January. So that's for fifth through eighth graders. And the focus will be like developing their uh, cultural competence, uh, social uh, consciousness, their entrepreneurial mindset. Um, we'll be linking a lot of what we talk about with African American history to uh, entrepreneurship and technology. Mm -hmm. That yeah, so it's, that yeah, it's called Wakanda mm -hmm. Tech Academy. Tech is an acronym for technology, entrepreneurship, culture, culture and, and history. history. So mm -hmm. um, it should be, uh, and this will be on Saturdays, I believe. I don't mm -hmm. know if we earned out the exact start time. There's a good January. way yeah to get exposure and it'll be kind of the same format we'll have some pre-readings i guess as well um but the goal is really every month to have that meet up uh to get exposed to uh, technology entrepreneurship culture and history mm -hmm. in a meaningful fun and engaging way so it's always going to be fun uh, we don't want it to be too dry so hopefully you'll be able to join us for that again it's free it's really designed for those in gra grades five through eight uh, but if you want to tune in with your young child you could do that as well so um, so, um, if you tune in today, that means you're eligible for one of the giveaways. For, for, we're doing two giveaways today, okay? So, how we did you? Are these good? Yeah. Did okay. you take a list of uh, no, names? So she's gonna <laughs> run and get and put the names in a hat, and then we're gonna draw like, two names out. Like we've done the last mm -hmm. last two times. And then we're gonna draw two names out, um, and if you uh, hopefully you'll be able to win. Uh, one of these. So let's look let, while she's doing that. So one of these are the Kiwi Code boxes, okay? The subscription boxes. Now you don't have to subscribe. You can actually go on their website and just purchase them uh, straight out uh, uh, after browsing. So this one here is uh this one is the mechanical bird. So you can kind of see uh, and we did an unboxing of these a few weeks ago. The blueprint on here. Um comes with a little magazine uh, and then the parts and pieces to put the birds together has the gears because it's a mechanical bird so, so that's one of them 
And then uh, the next one is the the wooden automaton. Okay, this one is actually is, doesn't it's not open. So, but this is I think this is the one where it has like a hand crank and then then it moves a ball through a little um, automated system. So that's uh, again very hands on. So this is one of the reasons I like these. And uh, and I think the last giveaway we'll have, which will be next week will be this one here. This is also from Kiwi Coda. So this is actually a, a hand crank flashlight. So if you've ever seen those, you get to build this from scratch. This is a little, a little bit older kids, 12 and up. But if your kid is advanced, then you can uh, take a look at that as well. OK, you ready? All right, All right so we got the hat the here. First one for the wooden automaton. Mm -hmm. uh, the what? Yeah, we'll do the wooden automaton first, OK? OK. Close your eyes. <laughs> All right. So this goes to Brittany. So Brittany, you guys win the wooden automaton. Now, can Brittany, bring, let's be, can we bring? Let's see. Can we bring you up, your Brittany? Your face. Let's see. Oh, that's Candace. Is it, it Candace? Candace? Okay. Yeah. Candace. Oh. So okay, hey, let me invite on. you. Uh, I don't know if you <laughs> if you can come up or not. Uh, on screen. Yeah, I just invited you to okay. come up on screen so we can kind of see how this feature works if you're available. Brittany, so, uh, can you? Yeah. Oh, oh it says it's incompatible. It doesn't work, so. incompatible. Okay. Right. But click on it because it said it was Candace, I, I believe. Hmm. Click Click on the name. I think it said. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's so it's Candace. Okay. So, so I guess congratulations. Yep. So yeah. Brittany, Brittany Barnes. Congrats. Okay, one more. Right. We'll one let more. you go. This All is right. for the wooden bird. Wooden bird. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cat Camel. So so that I think <laughs> is uh king is that king I, in there? I think it I right think here it is okay here mm. right here click on it let me invite them up if you can can Let's we see. see we'll see so i invite you up and it'll allow us to I kind of that, see you if we want to make sure we have the right people um okay yay hey, king. you got what is this the this mechanical, is the, the mechanical bird. bird okay all right mm -hmm. okay Good job. Thank you. Thank so, you for joining us. Yep. So, uh, hey, hey, royalty princess. <laughs> <laughs> Is Cam there too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Well, take you down here. So, all right. So that's it for today. Um, uh, again, hopefully you can tune in on Tuesday. We'll have uh, and just like we brought them up on screen. That's essentially how we're gonna bring Kai up again. She's in I'm Oakland. Sure. So that should be pretty interesting. Um, so definitely join us if you can. And uh, stay tuned for the Wakanda Tech Academy as well. That should be pretty cool. So if, uh, let me see, does anybody have any questions? About anything? I didn't see anybody, nobody asked anything. No, I don't think here. so. Yep. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. So, uh, that was a fast, a one, we went over a little bit, but hopefully uh, you got some enjoyment out of that. So. Thank All right. You. We'll see we you next week. It. All right. And we will get these to you, uh, Brittany and King. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Thank you.